Hey everybody, Ann here. Well, today is the day. I have oil in the chainsaw. It's all put together and I'm going to take it out and try and make my first cuts. I'm going to start small and for the first few cuts I'm not going to film. I'm not going to set up a camera. I just want to remain totally focused. I've been reading my instructions over and over um, and I don't know if you could tell but I'm a little nervous. I am a little nervous. So I'm going to go give it a shot and um, hope it goes well. I've got the chain on and I'm just double checking to make sure I've got it on right and I do. I've got it over this rod here and this little bolt here and I've tightened it up just enough to get it to stay so I can put the cover on. If you make the dial go up it tightens. If you make the dial go down it loosens. So let's get this kind of tightened up and then I'm going to put the cap on or the cover. All you got to do is just fit it into this little thing right like that. Then give it a little push so it goes over that little knob thingy and then tighten it back up. It says to pull from the middle of the bar and that clearly is too loose. So, I'm just going to tighten it by rolling it up. Let's check it again. <laughs> yep, I'm just going to keep doing this until I get it tight enough. Okay, once I put the cover on, this chain immediately loosened, and I think it's because I didn't have the chain in this little sprocket correctly. Um, I don't even know if it shows it in the other clip, but this was not nestled nicely um, like this is over here. So I've adjusted it and it's all in there very nicely now. Alright, I think that's good. And while I'm carrying it out to the woods just for safety's sake, yeah, I'm going to put that over the top of it. The battery goes in like this, snaps into place. All you got to do to get it out is put this forward and it pops right out. Here it is, you guys. Isn't it beautiful? I think it's beautiful. Alright, the first thing it wants me to do is push the emergency brake forward and you start it by pushing this little peg and holding this little trigger and see if it starts. It doesn't. So I'm going to pull it back and now it asks you to start it. And once you start it, you can let go of this little trigger thingy. So. I guess it's time to cut some wood. Those were the three logs that I had standing up on these trees here and if I had tried to do that with just the bow saw it would have taken me a couple of hours at least. But I've got this all done so it is ready to be split up. Doesn't that look great? I lied. 
I want some cedar. <laughs> Woo! That is awesome. One more. even more cedar. Yikes. Okay, that was dangerous. I did bring those two pieces of cedar that I cut, and I did cut apart most of that other cedar tree that was kind of like dangling there. I didn't film it because, honestly, I don't think that my technique was safe and until I'm sure I know what I'm doing. I'm not going to show me doing a whole lot of chainsawing. Um, today is just kind of a practice day, so I'm going to go ahead and cut these up. Look at Papa over there. He's being such a good boy. The puppies are inside the tiny house. There it is, you guys. That is all I'm going to cut up today. This is an amazing chainsaw. It's the perfect size for me. I can handle it. You can probably tell when I was doing, you know, chainsawing stuff that I was a little tentative because um, I don't think I was doing everything just right. But I did it and I didn't cut off any of my own limbs. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to collect those shavings and put them in the um, bulk material bag for the compost toilet. But um, this is great. So this is not like an official and cuts down trees with a chainsaw video because you didn't see me doing much cutting. Today I just wanted to practice. I know I made some mistakes. There's some technique things that I need to change. Um, but after the first few cuts, I kind of got more comfortable with, you know, just putting some, not some weight into it, but just holding the saw blade against the wood and not being afraid of it. So this is wonderful. I have to go split it all up now. Oh man, this is heavy. There's no way I'm going to be able to get all of it up this hill, but I'm going to get it as far as I can. Oh my gosh, can I turn the corner? <laughs> That's a lot of wood, you guys. I got it this far without losing a single log. I've just got to get it over that dry creek and up. I've moved this log over a little bit, so maybe, maybe I can do it. I don't know if I can do it and film at the same time, but I'm sure going to try. Oh, oh, oh. What do you think? Nah, I'm not going to risk it. I made it up the hill, and I only lost one, two, three, four. So that's not bad, is it? I am feeling very satisfied and happy. I'm going to go let the puppies out, take a little break, and then split up all of that wood. Oh, my gosh. There's going to be so much wood. Let's get to it. Look at all that wood, and that is just the cedar. I'm gonna cut up the rest on another day. And that day is gonna be tomorrow. It's gonna be sunny. It's not gonna be warm, but it's gonna be sunny. So I'm gonna take care of the rest of that wood tomorrow. 
Tonight, I'm going to enjoy a lovely fire, so that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.